Well, good morning. It's Wednesday morning. It's a wet day and a little bit cool, but that's okay. God's still going to protect us and give us an awesome day today. And what a great day to talk about the rain when we're talking about a big thing that happens in Noah's life and the people that he is leading. They're going to hit some water today too, just like, well, not quite like what we had with our rain today. And what is it that happened? Wasn't that amazing how God put a, a cloud that followed them and that led them and that protected them to take care of them and to show them what direction he wanted for them to go? Because the people didn't have a map and they didn't have a phone where they could pull up their GPS that told them where to go. They had to just rely on God to get them where he wanted for them to go. And so that was a pretty amazing thing that they were heading in the right direction in the first place. And then when they get to that wall of, of water and don't know what they're going to do, they don't have a boat to get into. They don't have jet skis. They don't have an airplane to fly over it. And they can't swim through it because it's way too big and way too deep. And there's way too many of them. And they have all of their belongings with them, all of their suitcases and their clothes and their food and everything. And so they begin to complain. And who comes to their rescue yet again but God? Yep, God came to take care of them. And even when they could hear the loud noises of the horses coming from the Pharaoh and his army coming after them because the Pharaoh changed his mind. He wanted his slaves back. He wanted those people to work for him again. And God knew that they needed to be free. And so God tells Moses to do what? Nothing more than just raise his arms and take his stick and put it in the water. And what happens? But God separates the water and there's two big old walls of water on either side and the people run to freedom and then they get to the other side and they look back and they see the army coming and what does God do? Whoosh! He closes that, that water up and the people are saved. They're saved because of God. So let's put our hands together and bow our heads. Dear God, we thank you for today for your love and for Jesus. Help us to remember the story of Moses and leading the people to freedom. In your name we pray, amen. All right, well, it's time for our Bible verse. So let's say our Bible verse together, you ready? You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Let's do it again. Ready? You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Well, it's birthday time now, and today we have Miss Allison's birthday. So let's sing happy birthday to Miss Allison. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Miss Allison. Happy birthday to you. Have a great day today, Miss Allison. And we have coming up, the Tuesday Thursday Stars did their Bible verse for me and sent it in to me. So if you're doing really good, get your teacher to video you and send it in so that everybody can watch you on the television screen saying your Bible verse. All right. Well, you guys have a great day today. And always remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.